god. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. Is he taking uh, that red ice either. that Todd was taking? What difference does it make? He's some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's a god that I don't? I'm not Smarter, on drugs. Yeah. More obedient. Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Man, I feel bad for Carl. It's tough. I mean, he made the right decision, right? He is not going to enable his son uh, to take drugs like that. Okay. So 59% completed. What did we miss? Wake Carl. There was something we could have done other than uh, serving breakfast. I'm guessing these are probably other artistic things like um like maybe playing the piano or something else like that. And then we had the different choices of what to paint. And then here we are. Oh, we're Connor again. He had the coin from the beginning. Going in hot. They better not mess with us. See Lieutenant Anderson. Am I missing something? No, not him. Oh, there he is. And he's seen better days. Uh, let's keep scanning people if we can. No criminal record. Okay. About the barkeeper. Okay. Oh, we already did him. Uh, did we get, get both of these guys? We already did him. Okay. All right, let's try to analyze these other two guys. Can I, I can't analyze him. I guess we need to have their face, maybe. Hey guys, I'm just gonna analyze you. Christopher Gray, DUI, okay. Who's this guy? Jonah Graham. 
So none of these guys really seem like threats at the moment. Uh, oh, here's who's this guy? Domestic abuse. Okay. So we should keep an eye on this guy, potentially. Alright, is there anything else that we can uh, analyze? We already hit this guy? Yeah. Okay. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Hey, man. Uh, wait. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? <laughs> just tell me. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, come on, Hank. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. See, that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Our car is so old that we actually have to drive you it. Wait here. I won't be long. No way. I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it to the rest of the night in one piece. All right, sorry, Hank. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? Yeah, we're going to get out. I'm not confirming anything. Can we scan some people? Hey, fellas. Maybe if we hang back a little bit. Typical DPG. They don't tell us. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way, got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. You were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he drove by, so what was going on. And that's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell! It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated... Salt. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. 
Well, stayed easy in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over. That's the same stuff here. that uh, Todd Probably had. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord report said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. What's this? Some more blood on the door. Okay. Cases of Ethereum, so that's the um, the element that androids are made out of. So, our, looks like Ortiz hit the android. Is that what we're seeing? Deviant took a knife. Oh, so it was trying to protect itself. Getting hit with a baseball bat until it picked up uh, something to protect itself. Jeez. So I guess all these deviants that they're talking about, they're always androids that have gone off the deep end, supposedly. Android sex officially better. 68% of men <laughs> prefer sex with an android to a real woman, and 52% men saying they've tried the experience at least once. There's a lot to go around. That's the club that I guess he was uh, he was at. Discretion is our middle name, so we're probably going to have to visit there. Collecting private information. More and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife uses its 120 million androids to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. Ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? CyberLife could use that information for targeted advertising. The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. Sounds familiar. The spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to CyberLife only deepen such concerns. Several consumer rights organizations have requested that CyberLife disclose the information it gathers and who it sells that information to, but the company has always refused. Requests for a formal inquiry have gone unanswered so far. Though some privacy concerns, for sure. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? But I would say so. so. We're taking samples for analysis. We've got a couple more things to look at over here. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Yeah, that makes sense. It was trying to protect itself, like in that hey, shot Mike, we saw you earlier. Taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. And the 
at all those staff wounds. 28 knife wounds. Jeez, more than 19 days ago. He was on drugs. So he's probably on drugs and uh, started attacking his android, which had to defend itself. Alright, what else are we missing? We already hit that. Missing. Oh, there we go. So we slipped on those bottles. Yep, we knew that. Stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Well, he was provoked. Regular letters. Font Cyberlife. Wow. Alright. What evidence are we missing? something in the other room, I guess. Because uh, it says 9 out of 10. It's something over here. where the uh, android presumably escaped to. The door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. the window then, huh? Is this where we came in? Or is this another room? Okay, here we go. Was that the android, or was that uh, Carlos, the murder, murdered guy? Okay. So I think we hit just about everything at this point. We looked out the window. We've read the magazine. We've looked outside. Let's just check one more time to make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, let's go talk to Anderson and uh, see what he has to say. 